What's going on card collectors? It's Ken with Ken's Cardboard. Have another video for you. This is a care package and some cards I picked up from Mike O uh, off of his live sale. But this is a care package from, they used to be called maybe sports cards, now they're called DP sports cards, I believe. Mike and Mikkel, and I've sent them a couple things and they sent this back my way, but I got some really cool Bowman Chrome, Saf Bowman, uh, Chrome Sapphire cards. And we got a little Rockies action here. Appreciate this, Mike and Mikkel. Really awesome of you to send this my way. Love watching you guys rip cards. It's fun to see you guys uh, rip packages. Braves fans. Um, this Drew Romo. Rockies like to um, draft high school prospects. This guy's from Texas. Catcher. We'll see how good he is. Um, I don't think he has any stats in here. But he was drafted fifth uh, round one and 35th overall. And then we got Ryan Vlade. Saw him a little bit in spring training last year. Down in Arizona when we were down there. I don't know if they're going to have spring training this year. But uh, he was drafted in 2017 in round two, 48th overall. Um, out of... He, I think he went to LSU. Can't remember where he went to, if he went to college or something, but he's from Texas also. Ryan Vallee, love that atomic looking cup uh, colors. Uh, then we got Zach Veen. Uh, this is from, a, I think, a blaster box with the uh, camo on there. Awesome. Zach Veen drafted in 2020, uh, ninth overall, round, round one. So. He's also at high school. He was like the top uh, prospect in Florida, I believe, for the state. He could be pretty good for the Rockies, I'm hoping at least. Oh, there's the uh, Atomic Reef Sapphire looking, beautiful looking card. Thank you very much. Awesome to get some Zach Beans. Oh, here we got some uh, foil card here of Topps Gold Label, Nolan Arenado, when he's still on the Rockies. I'm not sure I have this card, but if I do, still thank you very much. I love the gold label. The thing about I like about gold label, first of all, it's foil. They're not as good as they used to be. They used to be more of a chromium product, but now they're the foil cards. But they have two different images, you know, like a close-up and then an action shot. Love like that a lot. We got some Charlie Blackman from Finest. Chuck Nasty. Gonna probably wrap up his career with the Rockies when his contract's up. Yeah, oh, look at this. Mm, Fleer Traditions. I don't know what year this is. Todd Helton. It's got a little jersey napkin there. This is from 2003. This card contains a piece of authentic game worn jersey by Todd Helton. So, back in the day, there were originally were game worn clothes, and then they stopped. Then they started uh, claiming they're game worn, but they weren't really game worn. And so then they just call, started calling them uh, player worn jerseys. Like they wear them for five minutes, take them off, start cutting them up, I guess. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mike and Mikkel. Go check out their can channel. It's I think it's DP's Sports Cards. Uh, used to be maybe Sports Cards. They're out in Utah, uh, Jazz fans and Braves fans. But I'll put a link in their chat to their channel down below. They're just a fun couple to watch open cards. And then Mike O, if you haven't checked out his channel, he's got a uh, live sale he does on Tuesdays usually. And he's got some good cards. He just opened up, I think, a, a case of uh, 22, 22 Tops flagship. So picked up um, some of the Topps T206, not T206, Topps 206. This is a nice looking Bob Feller. None of these are special backs. These are all the Piedmont backs. Got a David Bodie for the Bodie collection. Not Chuck Nasty. Look at that thing. Look at that beard. Picked up some Christian McCaffrey cards. We got some Chronicles. Some Don Russ from 21. Some Mosaic. The base and some prism fireworks not really shiny but still a cool looking card anyways 
think that's 2021, 2020. Maybe McCaffrey will have a good season next year. He won't be hurt. Who knows? So I still got a lot in him, I think. And I got this for a deal. This refractor. You can see a little bit of refractor action there. The green Chuck Nasty had a get your chrome from 2020, which I like the 2020 much better than the 2021. But this one's numbered out of 99. A little nice little Chuck Nasty. Picked up a, a few of these Pete Rose cards for cheap. Open up and see what the other cards are. He just, just had the package there, but we got the, uh, the Living Legend. Check out that haircut. Woo! Pete. It's a leaf. These are leaf. I don't think this. I think there's a whole set of these. I, I don't know. I don't have all of them, but. Another rose. Is there, here's an earlier picture of rose from the 70s or early, late 60s. Here's an 80s card, or late 70s. More late 70s. Here's when he was on the Phillies. So this was in the 79 or 80, probably 81, somewhere around there. But those were good to add to the rose collection. I probably should get the whole set. And then here's the best card that I got out of there. This 73 Hank Aaron. It's the second Hank Aaron card. I own. I have the 72 Aaron. But check that out. Look at all those stats. Uh, by 1972, he had 673 home runs. He was just all-time great. So consistent every year. I mean, I don't think the other dude ever got hit, but like you could look, just look at his number of, of at bats he had every year. I think the lowest he has on here is 468 in his rookie season. Oh, here's one. 72, he had 449. The guy was a beast. And then... He threw in a couple of coins. These are probably hard to see on video, but we've got a Patrick Waugh and a Joe Sackick, former Avalanche. Sackick's now the GM. Waugh at one time was the coach for the Avalanche, but that didn't work out. Avalanche have been playing well this year. Maybe this time they can get to the Stanley Cup again. It seems like it's uh, definitely an opportunity, but there you go. <clears throat> Thanks, Mike and Mikel. Appreciate that. And, uh, check out Mike. Oh, he's got some great sales over there. Um, you can find some deals sometimes. Take care, everybody. Peace out.